Hi guys, this is Stephanie and thanks so much for stopping by my channel today. We are going to be doing a winter capsule wardrobe slash closet tour. I realize that I have not done a new closet tour since I moved into my new apartment in August and I thought that now would be a great time to share with you guys what I have been wearing in my winter capsule wardrobe. Now, just a bit of a disclaimer before we get started. I live in Florida, so my winter capsule wardrobe is probably going to look a lot different than your winter capsule wardrobe, but this is what I have been wearing from December and I will continue wearing through the end of February, so let's get started. So this is my closet. This is actually the smallest closet that I have ever had since I got married and I moved out of my dorm room in college. But that's totally okay because I now love minimalism and having a capsule wardrobe so I can actually share this closet with my husband. So this is his half. We're going to leave that closed. And I will show you my half of the closet. Ta-da! I actually have two racks in my closet, a top rung and a bottom rung. And I don't really have anything on the bottom rung right now except for a couple of spare Hangers, I do like to keep some spare hangers because the amount of like things that go on regular hangers versus like skirt or pant hangers does change throughout my capsule wardrobes. So keep a couple of those there. My laundry basket sits on the floor down here. And then I have my entire capsule wardrobe up here on this one rung. For me, I have done Project 333 many times over. And the first couple of times I did this challenge, which is where you pick 33 items of clothing, including shoes, handbags, and accessories, but not including athletic wear, leisure wear, um, and outerwear, like winter coats and, th and such, for three months. And now I am for around 33-ish items, and I do include clothes and shoes and bags. For me, I have been doing capsule wardrobes long enough that I didn't really feel like having exactly 33 is a magical number. I usually end up somewhere between 30 and 40. And I do have a very small selection of jewelry that I just wear year round. So let's go ahead and get into the clothing. So first off, what I'm wearing right now, I have a striped t-shirt on and a pair of dark wash denim jeans. So that's two of my items. I do attempt to arrange my clothing KonMari-ish, where you have longer, darker stuff in the back, lighter um, color, lighter weight fabric stuff to the right. But um, this is what I got. So we'll just go ahead and get started. I have a belt, which I actually never wear that. And then I have two scarves. This is a bright scarf. And it's got little Mickeys on here. And then this is my nerdy Star Wars scarf, which I can use as layering pieces. And here I have a maroon camisole. Again, great for layering in a nice kind of fall, winterish color. A sleeveless top. I have a maroon tulip print tee. A black floral print top. Got this cute little tie detail and this little slit on the arm. Super cute. A navy blue t shirt. A basic white t-shirt. I have a Star Wars tee and a basic black tee. I love basic t-shirts. They're super great for layering and if you buy nice good quality t-shirts I find that I can layer them under sweaters and jackets and still be totally okay at my work. For nicer tops I have this three-quarter length black and white floral printed top, a basic white button-up shirt, some 
really nice little steaming details. A white bolero that I like to wear with some of my dresses. A short sleeve navy cardigan. My one super luxurious merino sweater in this really kind of vibrant purpley blue color. I love when I get to pull this out and when it's cold enough for me to actually wear my one sweater. I have a black cardigan. A very classic denim jacket. This is probably the oldest item in my entire capsule wardrobe. I've had this since high school and it is still going strong and if you get something in a very classic cut it will last you forever. I have this oatmeal longer cardigan which I love to wear to work because it is freezing in my office and I also have a nice structured blazer. This one is navy blue and white in a very uh, quiet print and I love this jacket. I have a green linen skirt with some cute pockets and a little exposed zipper detail. A blue and white polka dotted pencil skirt. One pair of black denim shorts. I warned you guys, I live in Florida. It's been 80 degrees lately or in the mid 70s, so definitely always have to have a pair of shorts. A second pair of dark wash jeans. These ones have a skinny leg instead of more of a straight leg if I'm feeling the skinny jean look. I have a little bit more fancier of a black floral skirt. Again, this has the blue and kind of the maroon accents to go with the other items in my capsule wardrobe. I have this really cool Death Star um, jersey skater dress. I have this black and white printed dress. This is kind of my special occasion piece. It's not so fancy that I can't wear it to work, but it's also nice enough if I have a, you know, a dressier event or a wedding or something to go to. So that is a great thing to have in your closet, something you can wear in case of fancy emergencies. I have this black and white dress. Again, another item that is casual enough for work, but that I can also wear to a more formal event. I don't tend to wear this one to weddings because in my book, the only person wearing this most much white should be the bride. And then the last dress I have is this kind of black and white paint splatter dress. It's got buttons up the front. Again, really cute. It's got a, um, what's that hem called? High, low, waterfall, I don't know. The hem is not exactly even all the way around. It has a longer part and a shorter part, which is cute, a little bit trendy, not so trendy that it's going to be unwearable by the end of the year. Okay, so that's clothes. Let's move on to shoes. I have four pairs of shoes in my capsule wardrobe, plus one pair that I don't count because those are the ones that I wear to the gym. I have one pair of black Vans, one pair of flip-flops, a pair of navy blue flats, and a pair of black wedges. And last but not least, I have my purse. So I always leave one space in my capsule wardrobe for purses. I do have a couple of them I rotate through during the different seasons, but for me, I don't have the energy to be switching in and out of pur purses all the time unless I have a very specific event to go to where I might need something a little bit more formal. So as you can see, again, the nice dark navy colors in this bag that goes with my wardrobe. And because I have so many solids and basics in my wardrobes, I can get away with having a crazy purse. Which, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's an R2 and a Darth Vader in the Jedi symbol. Yeah, I'm a nerd. So that's it for my winter capsule wardrobe and my closet tour. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing what I wear on a regular basis. And let me know, have you done a capsule wardrobe? Do you enjoy having a capsule wardrobe? 
if you like this go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button so that you'll be able to uh, <laughs> see other videos about minimalism and intentional living and I will see you guys next time. Bye!